to another video with Free Easy and Organized. Welcome if you're new. I wanted to do something a little different today. I wanted to do, it's still about organization, but instead it's with the bag. So this here is my planner bag. Um, I did a little sneak peek in my last video. You guys probably saw a smaller pink version of this same bag, which I will show you a little bit later. But I just wanted to show you how I keep all of my planner items and um, work, I, I guess business work items all organized together so that I can keep it all with me whenever I travel, go out of the house, or even when I'm inside the house, it really is helpful. So let's get right into it. I'll give you guys a little detailed review of the bag. So I wanted to get a little bit more comfortable for this video so I have more room to just pull all of my items out. Okay, so let's get started with the bag. So this is the Dagny Dover Ryan laptop bag. Dagny Dover is a, they're a bag company um, in bag wallets, purse accessories, all of that. Um, and pretty much they are probably the most organized purses and book bags, bags, whatever that you'll ever find. They even sell diaper bags on their site. So, and I know this is kind of weird. I've had this bag for a really long time and they no longer sell the Ryan laptop bags. I don't know why, because I feel like they will, in my opinion, they were really popular, but I guess maybe they just weren't selling that much on their site, but they have a ton of other bags that you can use for especially for planner bags that i feel like would be perfect even more so than this if i didn't have these already i probably would purchase another one but i'm not trying to waste no money since i already have one so i'm going to link a ton of bags in the description box from dagny dover check them all out there's some really small ones ones that are larger than this ones that are around this same size they have different colors a ton of different options so just check all those out in the description box again i'm so sorry if you're looking at this bag and you're wanting it if you really really do want it check out one of the Dagny Dover Facebook groups. Um, there's, I think, two really popular ones, the handbag appreciation from, for Dagny Dover, and then there's another one. I'll try to link those below as well. Um, check those out, and sometimes you can find some used So bags. here is the size small, and this one is in the color Dune, which is kind of like a pink, grayish pink color. And this is what I was originally using, but I found it to be too small, especially since I wanted to keep my laptop and tablet and everything with me as well. But if you want something smaller, they do have sizes like this. So again, I'm gonna link all that below. So don't y'all even worry. All of the Dagny Dover bags, well, majority of them have this uh, luggage sleeve here. Ugh. Yep, that little sleeve there so that if you're traveling, you can just stick your bag right on there instead of having to lug it around. And then they all come with this little tiny pocket in the back of their bags as well. Even in some of their leather bags, they have this um, in this pocket it's supposed to be for your phone, but I usually don't use it for that because my phone is usually always in my hand or my pocket whenever I'm out. But if you do want to put your phone in there, it will fit. I have heard that it will fit the the plus size of Apple phones as well, so the super large ones. But what I have in here, this is my planner bag. Um, in my purses, I usually keep sanitizer in there, but again, this is my planner bag, so I don't have any in this one. But what I have is this cute little Erin Condren card. It came in, came with one of my planners. And I just have a checklist of what's supposed to be in my planner bag on the back of it. Just as a reminder, if I'm in a rush, if I'm going out of town, I need to remind myself of what, need, what needs to be in here. Sorry if I keep pausing this video. Um, my husband's walking past with my daughter to, you know, get her food, milk and stuff. So just in case you see a bunch of clips cut through this video. All right, so we were on the front, so yes. So the front of the bag has this really, really large pocket that I really like because you can feel fits a lot in here. So what I have for my planner bag, let's, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out. So the first thing I have is this little pencil pouch. It came with, I ordered some pens at some point and it just came with this pouch automatically and I thought it was really cute. So I just keep a ton of, I have a Sharpie in there, some gel pens, regular pens, highlighters, just a bunch of stuff that I can may need with me if I'm ever traveling. And it's also, again, just nice to have when I'm around the house. So that is my pencil pouch. I have a ton of sticky notes and then some little tiny notebooks. So this first one is just a sticky note from cloth and paper. And then we have one of the sticky notes from Erin Condren, the let's plan my the week your weekly schedule. Actually, this isn't sticky note, it's just the the tear off one. Actually, you know, it is sticky. My bad, I'm sorry. So yes, the sticky notes from Erin Condren. 
And then I have these little tiny notebooks. I have a pack of 24 that I got from Amazon and they were actually pretty cheap and I love these y'all. If you have really tiny purses that you like to carry around because you don't like the super big ones, these will fit in there perfect. So that you can always have a notebook, some paper, a pen, whatever with you at all times because you just never know if you're someone who would rather use actual sheets of paper rather than your phone. When you're taking down notes or writing grocery lists, this right here is perfect. I have some more sticky notes, some smaller ones. This came with the pouch and those pens that I had ordered. This all came together. So these are really nice to have. Some really small, tiny ones if I just need something. Um, just a quick note to write like in my planner. I can just write it on there and stick that on the page that I need it on. And then I have my transparent sticky notes as well, which are super helpful to have in a planner. Inside of the pen loops, I just have my mechanical pencil, which I use for my finance notebook, my budget book, and then just another pen. All right, so now that's everything on the outside. Let's start with the inside of the bag. So she is very full. And what I have here, of course, is my laptop. I was really paranoid about just putting it in here at first. I have a really thick laptop cover and it's super cushioned that I've had ever since I bought this laptop. This is my first like really big laptop purchase. I've always just purchased the really cheap ones from like Walmart that were like two, $300 that would literally break in like less than a year because they were so horrible. The, the RAM, the gigabytes were super low. This is my first really big laptop purchase. So because of that, I protected it as much as I could. So just kind of putting it in this laptop, even though it is a laptop bag, I was still really paranoid, but so far it has protected it very, very well. Um, it's actually pretty cushioned in here. So I don't have any concerns or worries about that. I'm still very gentle with the bag because my laptop is in here, but yep, yeah, it's hold it up, held up pretty well so far. So there's that and I just use that. It's in my planner bag because again, I use that for editing videos. My budget book, I got this from Plum Paper. And I'll be doing a video on how I budget on a weekly basis. And I really do love this thing. So stay tuned for that video. I think you guys will really appreciate it. And you guys will end up purchasing this as well. So um, next, I have these stickers right behind that notebook. These were supposed to get stored away. I just purchased these from Erin Condren. Um, they were supposed to get stored away in my office. But I probably forgot. So they were just hanging in there. All right, next, just hanging out right in the center of the bag, I have my two planners that I use. The one that you guys are most familiar with. I did change the cover. It was the, the leopard print at first, but I'm switching this cover out like it's nothing, honestly, because I have so many of them. So this is the one I have so far. This is a really old one. If, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I have a little sticker there and it's covering the year. I got this in 2021 and for some reason I decided to put the year on there, which was really stupid but I decided to just cover it up with this black sticker that I had. So I don't know, can you guys even tell? Next, we have my business planner, my favorite. This is my cloth and paper contour um, a leather agenda, which I am absolutely in love with. It really reminds me of the Louis Vuitton uh, agenda cover. It just doesn't have the LV on it. I'm sure it's different in person, but looking at them in pictures, it looks very similar. So I really love this thing and it's held up very, very well. Okay, so next, let me show y'all. So there are two smaller pockets on the opposite side of the laptop sleeve, if you can see there. And on one side, I have just a bunch of different notebooks. So the first one is from Erin Condren. This came with my 2021 Daily Duo Planner, and it is their Plan for Tomorrow Perpetual Calendar. I'm obsessed with this thing. Let me explain why. So I've had it since 2021, but it is, it's like a monthly at a glance planner and it's completely undated. So you can use this for any year. It pretty much has every month listed and then it just has 31 um, days listed on the side and just a line for each day. So literally if you just have something quick to jot down like a birthday, an event, um, an appointment, meeting, whatever, you can kind of jot that down there. I have not used mine yet at all, as you see, but I've been just keeping it in here for whenever I decide to. I'm thinking I wanna wait till next year so I can use the entire thing in one year from January to December. So there's that. Next, behind that, I have another notebook. So it's pretty much the same thing as those little tiny notebooks I showed you. Let me see. 
pretty much the same thing just a different size i got these from amazon as well these ones are almost running out i've had these for almost two years now and it came i think in a pack of 12 but since they're larger they don't run out as quick i used to put these in my purses which was uh, cool too but i've been using a lot of smaller ones lately so these ones are way better so i'll link these below if i can find them because again i've had these for a while and then next behind that i have uh just a quick um little notepad a weekly checklist i guess a daily checklist notepad i've had this for a while too and i figured i'd put it in here because there are certain days where i don't use my planner like on sundays where i don't have a lot to do but i may want to kind of jot a few things down and i just don't feel like pulling you know messing with my planner for the day so this is nice to have very nice to have and i 100 percent do use this it's was super thick when i bought it as you can see it's kind of going down now so i am definitely using it all right so in the smaller pocket right next to it i have my stickers so these are some sticker books i just purchased all the way in the back i have just some loose stickers that are i've been using up for a while they're just the holiday celebrate birthday ones but here are the books that i just purchased from Erin Condren that I am absolutely in love with. I told y'all in my last video that my Plum Paper Planner is a little bland on the interior. The tabs are colored, but the interior pages are just, yeah, they're pretty bland as compared to the Erin Condren ones that I'm used to. So I like the sticker to kind of just put a little brightness within it. All right, y'all, that's everything in the bag. We're completely empty out as y'all can see there was a lot of stuff in there i know most people only have one planner i have my business planner always separate from everything and then my all-in-one planner and then i have my laptop and a bunch of notebooks sticky notes stickers if you don't need all of this stuff again check out those links in my description box i'm going to show you guys some smaller organized dagny dover bags all again all of their bags are very organized and they have all of the different pockets pouches everything within them so don't be worried at all even if it's a smaller bag it's still going to be pretty um pretty organized all right next here is the size medium let me show y'all side by side again so these are the bags so you can get a better comparison this is the size large this is the size medium they don't have a small they were just, i guess because this one technically is not small you know what i mean so this was just their size medium that was their size large. This one is really cute. I really did like this at first for a planner bag. Honestly, it was the perfect size for just a planner bag, but because I want to keep my laptop in it as well, because I, I use my laptop constantly when I'm creating those digital planners, editing videos, it's just for my business period, I'm always constantly using that thing. So I really needed to keep it with me when I'm around the house, dragging all of my planners, my, my notebooks, everything I need. I needed the laptop too but if you guys just have one planner and a ton of accessories get something smaller like this they even have one smaller than this if this is too much so again check the links out just check the links but let me show y'all how i can pack this up As you can see, everything fits in there perfectly and there's actually still a little bit of space in here if I really wanted to squeeze something in, but I don't like squeezing anything into my laptop bags, into my planner bag, because everything in here is very important. But yeah, this, let me close it so y'all can see that this stuff actually does fit. Closes perfectly. And that's it. And it's, it's a lot lighter without my laptop in it. With that larger bag and with the laptop in there, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's really heavy. But again, it's nice to have everything all in one place. So yeah, that's everything in here. What I'll do now, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully you guys did like this kind of video. Let me know if you just prefer the only seeing my hands in my actual planner videos. Let me know. And I'm still going to be doing plenty of those. So don't even worry. The unboxings and... Uh, just the, the planner walkthroughs or plan with me so all of those will still get done plenty but let me know how you like this video if you do want to do more uh what's in my bag videos how i organize my mini purses my actual tote bags larger purses diaper bags whatever let me know in the comments and i will absolutely 100 do plenty more of those okay so you guys can 
leave now if you would like but if you want to stay a little longer i'll just do um a quick try on of the bag so you can see what they look like on me on my body size um so you can kind of get a gauge for what size bag you may want if you want something smaller larger whatever so stay tuned for that thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time bye